Master Holt sitting in tonight for Brian. We start here tonight with the weather bad and about to get a whole lot worse, making for some tough post-holiday travel. And it's already taking a big toll, including two massive pileups involving dozens of cars on a snowy New Hampshire highway. Here's what we're looking at. Snow to the north and midwest, freezing rains in Texas, extending into parts of the east this weekend, all ahead of a big Arctic blast. With below average temperatures already being felt across much of the country, by early next week, we could see below zero temperatures in the Midwest to freezing temperatures in the Deep South. We begin our coverage in Dallas with NBC's Jacob Resco. Thick black smoke interrupted the heavy snow in New Hampshire today after as many as 50 cars crashed in two pileups along Interstate 93. It's a chain reaction occurrence uh, from the a vehicle spinning out of control, and once one vehicle collides with another, it's just uh, unable to stop. It's the worst accident I've seen on 93 in my career. No one was seriously injured. Dozens, though, were left stranded for hours with temperatures in the 20s. I can see the back up at the top of the hill, and on the ramp, we get one serious crash. It was one serious crash after another. In North Texas, where the winter storm brought icy rain, accidents clogged several roadways, trapping even first responders. Rescue crews also got caught in a storm in Missouri, where Slick Road sent one 60,000-pound fire engine into a ditch. The firefighters are okay. What is always the coldest time of the year for most of the country is right now much colder than usual in the south. More than 20 degrees below average today in Lubbock, Texas, 17 below in Dallas, 15 in Phoenix, and 14 below average in Oklahoma City. Even the Arizona desert got a rare dusting of snow to kick off 2015, enough for a snowball fight in one neighborhood, and enough farther north to hide the red rocks of the Grand Canyon under a blanket of white. A colder than average start to the new year with storms already impacting most of the country and just getting started. Jacob Rascone, NBC News, Dallas. And as we